great memories here. I, I love New Jersey. I love the guys, and it's nice to be back. Here. We're here to see the players from 2003. Very excited. Yeah, doing great. Fun to be around. Nice to see a lot of guys are bringing their uh, the old time jerseys out, so it's good. It's good. <laughs> Dano. Hey, uh, yeah, we, we had plans to go that, plan hey, on doing that. We changed because yeah, there was a problem. Yeah. God, you know, the war. Yeah, so. Hi. Hi. Yeah, we got to commiserate too. So. Good, how's it going? Hi, how are you doing? We are good, passionate fans here, so it's nice to give back a bit. She's got to go by you. I got to go so. by you. Sure. Don't touch the cup. It's great to see all the fans, and uh, especially nice to be back with this right here. I missed it. 2003, well, it was a great summer. I mean, my first summer with the team was within 2000, and uh, so I knew a lot of the guys already, and uh, 2003 has been going up to Alaska. Scott Gomez, Tip Scott Niedemeyer taking it up on top of a mountain. Turner Stevenson to have it in Seattle. Brian Rafalski in Michigan. Uh, it just never gets old. Seeing the joy and excitement both them and the cup bring to the community that they live in and grow up in. It's good to see how what type of shape everyone's in <laughs> after 20 years, but uh, it is nice. I mean, we don't see a lot of each other. A lot of guys live out west, so this is a great time to get together and celebrate uh, something that's very hard to do and, and catch up. I knew he's not even there. <laughs> Marty will carry out the Vedman Trophy. Is there a push cart? It's so heavy. all the way through. Yeah, you smashed. At the end. Big crowd here tonight, Maddie. A lot of anticipation. This is a special night in Devils history as they honor the third banner that's been raised to the rafters here. Oh boy, that was a fun year. The 2002-2003 Devils were led by head coach Pat Burns after winning a Stanley Cup in 2003. Pat was diagnosed with cancer in 2005 and sadly passed away in 2010. Yeah, we miss Pat, we miss him. He pushed the right buttons to get the most out of us. He pushed you. He pushed everybody from, from the Gomez's offensive style to the physical style of, say, Turner, myself, and Dewey Mack, and Whitey. He lit some fires. I mean, no one's ever seen Ken Danico get yelled at. When Pat, <laughs> Burns, when Pat Burns yelled at Ken Danico like one of the first weeks, it was like, it scared everyone. Like, oh my God, if Dano's getting yelled at. No, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a phenomenal coach and, and a better man. That's the, that's the cool part. We all miss him, so. He was just uh, he's a good man. Good tough man. I have to say I'm very, very grateful to be here. This is such a special event. It's closing like a, a very unique journey. And I'm sure uh, he's in the house tonight. I want the fans to know and when you're celebrating the team, every little piece matters. Great job. That was a special feeling. You know, we go home you, afterwards. Yeah. I do anyway. And a day later, talk to your wife, talk to whoever your kids, and get emotional. You're going, it's so good to see that guy. I hadn't seen him, my teammate, in 20 years. It's one of those things where I haven't seen them in, in five, six years, and but then I see them yesterday. It was like I just seen him two days ago. Just don't drop the trophy. That gets everything out of whack, man. You have bonds with certain teammates over the years, but it's tough because you have families. We all live all over the world. You're not going to be able to keep in touch all the time, but uh, so you get together like this and you'll never forget it. <laughs>